live. I think things are uh, are happening here. Let me adjust my chair. Camera's looking okay. My hair is looking, you know, wet still. I just showered, so. Been working on the, a, a patch for the beta all morning. So, uh, you know, I've been, you know, down in my office and just plugging away. Got a lot of good fixes, a lot of good stuff coming for the beta here. So, uh, anyway, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be good. All right. Anyway, uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever your case. Uh, hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the stream of It Lurks Below, official stream of It Lurks Below. Uh, this is going to be the last one that I'm going to do for this uh, little beta period here. Uh, I will probably occasionally stream It Lurks Below uh, during development. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll even do some development streams. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, I'll occasionally be doing it. I'll, I'll give notices and stuff like that about, uh, you know, on my Facebook page and on my Twitter page and whatnot. All the kind of social media places. Uh, uh, when I do, when I, when I am going to, uh, when I am going to stream, uh, I'll give plenty of advance notice. But uh, this is the last of this kind of like early beta weekend, the first, first kind of reveal weekend. Uh, this is going to be the last one of these streams, uh, that I'm going to do, uh, in the, sh in the meantime. So anyway, there's been a lot of people streaming. It lurks below. There've been a lot of, there's been a lot of really good feedback. I've got a lot of fixed, a lot of bugs, uh, had some real fun with the game, uh, doing all sorts of stuff. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to start it up here. Uh, I don't know. I, I assume that a lot of people have seen it, uh, now at this point and, uh, uh, this would, uh, and so I'm just going to kind of continue yesterday. I think that we started this character here, uh, stabby, uh, and I, I died repeatedly and kind of gave up at the end, uh, because I had gotten frustrated with like losing my equipment for the 57th time. Cause it was kind of, it was kind of a, a you know, a bad seed I had. Uh, I think that if you look at the, uh, you look at the, uh, the map. It was, you know, we went down and we couldn't find any rooms and we just found shrine after shrine. And I finally found the dungeon and I like died several times, you know, kind of at the beginning of the dungeon. So we're going to kind of take it from the scratch here uh, and we're going to kind of get ourselves prepped in a better way than we were before because uh, our stuff isn't going to rot down on the bottom uh, but we are not really ready to go down there and uh, and grab our stuff. Uh, they, we will die too quickly if we're gonna go down there and uh, and die. <laughs> we will die very quickly if we're gonna go down there and uh, and face those guys yet again. So I think we're gonna need to equip ourselves a little bit better in order to kind of re recover our stuff. So let's uh, let's start off there. Let's uh, and to do that, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need some better armor because my armor is is not very good. Uh oh. Uh, that's not very good either. Um, the biggest thing is that I don't have a weapon. So actually, let's go back to the surface here. We're, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a, a, you know, kind of a beginner's weapon, just because I don't, I don't even have one. Maybe I have one in my bank. I should check. Uh, but I just need, you know, an iron bar to, uh, to, to make at least the starter weapon, so I can defend myself in case of an emergency here. So. Hello, everybody. Uh, you ruined my relaxing Saturday because five minutes of watching your stream light my brain on fire with wanting to work on my game. Oh, well, that's awesome. I, I'm, really, I'm really glad that you want to work on your game. That's really cool. I, I look at that. I already have a wand in there. Uh, that's going to help out quite a bit. I didn't see the class displayed on the character selection screen. Shouldn't it be? Oh, it is. I, I think it is. Maybe it's not. Oh, it's not. Yeah, and maybe I should. Uh, I should probably put the character class. It, you know, it is. Uh, it's not even displayed anywhere, as far as I know. I, I didn't even put it like here on your on your stats panel. Uh, it's a good suggestion. I should I should put that in. Okay, so at least we have something here, and we'll we'll put on a chest piece that'll that'll help us. It's not ideal, but you know it's okay. We're that's better than nothing. Um, maybe we should go. Maybe we should go. Uh, get a helmet as well. You know, the more protection, the merrier. Actually, we're going to go back to where we were. I think there was some, some things to, to uh, some, some copper to farm right there. 
and uh, we'll we'll get that copper, and uh, that will help out a lot. So let's see. You, uh, I didn't see the class. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, hello, everybody. Cosmic greetings, Leo. Uh, hi, pride of a Viking. I, uh, I don't remember what class you picked. Uh, this is this is rogue right now. Uh, there was a, you know, I had the cloak that hid me and we couldn't find anything. We were having bad luck with, uh, you know, bad luck with with finding kind of cool places to get. We, like, kept getting shrines as our, like, uh, as our special rooms, our little random rooms in the, in the thing. Instead of treasure chest rooms or uh, crystal rooms or anything like that. And so we couldn't really, couldn't really find anything, couldn't really fight anything. And so we had, we had a tough time. Kind of gearing ourselves up, we had a really tough time finding ore at first. Uh, we had so we were we were kind of we were hurting in in our first little run there. So it would be a sec, uh, <laughs> somebody is uh, very excited about getting the uh, the beta. It seems like uh, that would be that's uh, that's a lot to ask. Um, okay, we're doing okay. It looks like on on the old vegetables and stuff. Okay, we've got eight. We got eight copper, which makes four copper bars, which is enough to um, at least make a copper helm, which is uh, which will help us. Oh, I mean, it, we're gonna make a copper pickaxe. I mean, uh, that'll help. That'll help with the crafting. We got five bars now, so that should be enough to make our copper pickaxe. That'll, that'll make our mining a little bit quicker. Uh, and then let's see, we've got. Look at that. We have enough to make the helm as well. We'll make that, and that will help. That'll give us a little bit more armor and stuff as well. So, uh, okay, we're kind of getting going. I, I turned helmets uh, off on this. It's an option you can do in the in the main menu. You can uh, you, you know turn off turn off helm so it just shows your character head. It still gives you all the stats, but it shows your head so that uh, you know some people prefer that, including me, uh, so that I can see what my character looks like. I like looking at my my character's face and the. Uh, and hair and stuff. Um, now what we really need is we're really going to need some help uh, killing things because... Oh, man, that was just brutal. Those guys are just so brutal. Because we're not, we're not very powerful and uh, we've got a bad wand here. God, they just... They're so nasty. Uh, let's get some platforms going too. Um, they're over here. Okay, I'll try and answer some questions. Could you would you consider finding hybrid classes based on combination of skills bar? Uh, maybe a little bit much. Yeah, it, it, I mean there are just so many combinations that uh, that I don't think that I'll have titles for all the different combinations. Uh, I'll just have um, you know you, you're you're going to end up making them yourself. So uh, whatever you want to call it is probably what is is going to be the class name. Oh, well, there's a little bit more copper. We'll uh, we'll come down here. Oh, see, look, see, it's another shrine. All right, let's do a little bit of mining here. We'll uh, get some copper going. It's going to be important to try and gear ourselves out because, you know, we we died really quickly down there. And uh, it, we can get back down there and we can get some of our gear. We'll be in better shape. Um, and then we'll be able to take on kind of the end boss in the uh, in the first zone. So that that's the goal today is to try to get us to the end boss. I'm sure that that's going to happen. We might even be able to get further, get ourselves into the ice zone and uh, and experiment with that for a little while. Uh, can you make an in-game option? Yes. Yeah. The the options again are this is just kind of alpha, but the options are going to be here on this menu as well as uh, the main menu. So so you don't have to leave your game if you don't want to and uh, and uh, right now as well, I've got, uh, if you change kind of the resolution and, uh, and the, uh, change the resolution and like whether or not it's windowed or full screen and things like that right now, uh, it makes you kind of quit out of the game and come all and, and, uh, and rerun it. But in the end, that will not be the case either. You'll, you'll be able to, um you'll be able to set all of the options and not have to quit out of the game. It's just that doing the full screen to not full screen transition with Windows DirectX 9, which is what this uses, is was a pain in the butt. And there's little bugs, and I just didn't have time to fix it all before I uh, before I made this beta. So 
the the intent is to uh, is to have that uh, be part of the game in the end. Okay, we're running low on stamina. We might need to rest pretty soon here. Can you uh, shoot directly above and under you? Yes. No. There, you can shoot right above or down below. When you shoot down below, you actually just shoot into the ground. Uh, so it's not really doesn't really do any good. But you you can stand over things and then shoot down, and you can still go down. So there's no restrictions on the uh, on where you can shoot. It'll just shoot towards the mouse cursor, is the way that uh, is the way that it works. Okay. Uh, hi, David. Do you uh, do classes have some kind of racial ability? Uh, I don't. Th uh, they do not now. You know, one of the things in some of the feedback that I've gotten uh, from not only this stream but also from the beta players is that it'd be nice if there was a um, if there was a little bit more differentiation between the character classes. Like they had some sort of skill or. Uh, Maybe uh, passive abilities or, mul you know, stats multipliers or innate stats or something like that. Or maybe even innate abilities uh, that, uh, that uh, then uh, differentiate the classes a little bit more. Uh, is there a way to get in the beta? There is not a way to get in the beta at this time. It is closed, unfortunately. Uh, that We get to ask that a lot. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that, you know, I have got more bugs and feedback then I know what to deal with and uh, and so unfortunately uh, that that means it's closed right now okay we got ourselves some pants that's good that's good things are improving here uh, did we have enough for we don't have enough for boots yet we got to get six we just used them used them all except for we have one more little ore left over uh, let's go bank a few things here uh, and we're we're gonna rest how are we doing? We're doing okay on food. Uh, I think that I think we we don't need to plant right now. Um, we don't need to worry about that at this exact moment. All right, let's put some of these old things back here in the bank. Uh, looks like you know I only have one coffee left. I like to keep that coffee around. For emergency situations, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually sleep here. So when you uh, run out of stamina, there isn't really any penalty besides the game. You know, you start moving very slowly. Uh, so, uh, but if there's several different meters, you know, you've got a health meter, which obviously, if you run out of health, you die. You've got a, a mana meter, which is how many shots you have in your in your in your uh, uh, wand or staff, and then. Um, you have a stomach meter, and you know that that is you can die of hunger. Once your your stomach is empty, then you start taking real damage, you know, phys, uh, you know, hit point damage, and you will eventually die. You'll die pretty quickly, actually. Um, and uh, so you, you got to keep all of those kind of the, all of those up and running. It's important. Okay, what uh, uh, bribe do you have to get in? <laughs> let me get. Uh, what is the required to get you to let me to work on the game with you? There. Well, you, you know, I, I, strangely, now that I've been doing it all myself, I kind of want to finish this by myself, uh, simply because I'm enjoying doing the work, right? So uh, I appreciate all the offers. I get a lot. I got a lot of offers of people that want to work on this game. Um, and that's very flattering. But uh, now that I've kind of taken on this challenge for myself, I, I feel like I got to finish it. Um, is it you just working on it? Yes, that's right. I am the only person working on it. Uh, I'm doing everything myself. I'm doing the art, and the music, and the programming, and the design, and you know, I'm doing I'm doing it all, uh, sound and everything. So this is this is just me. Uh, it's kind of just me, and there are other things that are happening. Like I got to a PR person that's helping me with PR just to kind of on a contract basis. We've got, uh, I've got my wife, uh, Jungle Queen. She helps out a lot. She does kind of the website and she helps run the betas and things like that. So I've got some kind of, a, you know, uh, other people working with me to help me out uh, doing maybe not necessarily development stuff. J uh, Jungle Queen also gives me good development feedback, uh, you know, on my designs and things like that. Uh, because I talk about them all the time. Basically, you know, I, I spend most of my time just kind of making this game, and uh, and and which has been really fun. Uh, but uh, that means that 
poor Joan Queen gets to listen to me nonstop talk about the game and ideas and stuff. And uh, anyway, she's been polite enough to give me feedback and listen well. Ah. Come on. These slimes are super nasty. They're really hard. They they will they they can they're so accurate. They're hyper accurate with their with their shots. They're really annoying. Okay, there's a wand. Oh, that's gonna help us out a lot. That's a big one. That's a that's a that's a winner. That is a winner. A triple shot poison wand. That is gonna make a big difference. Uh, we we're, we're looking like we're gonna get into a recovery mode now. I I have faith that things are gonna happen. Oh my god. Oh, I just missed ducking under that. Everybody's poison, though. I'm poison. They're poison. It's all poison. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, this is so damn cool. I wish I could add co-op to it. Yeah, I wish I, you know, if I, if, you know, when, once the game comes out, if it's successful enough, which, you know, I, I, it doesn't really need to sell a whole bunch of copies to be considered successful, uh, uh, you know, I think that uh, I'm gonna. That's that's one of the big ones that I'm gonna add. Probably probably one of the first things I'm gonna add is is co-op or multiplayer. Uh, how does the drop rate work? Can you get any kind of loot from any kind of monster? Uh, no, you can't get any kind of loot from any kind of monster. Sort of. Uh, the loot is based on a bunch of complicated things. Uh, the monsters have treasure tables, so that they they kind of drop categories of items. They'll drop maybe um, they'll drop uh, uh, you know they have a chance at dropping scrolls and potions and wands and things like that. Uh, uh, versus um, uh, you know, and some of the other ones won't. Oh, I'm just a type of minion that. I only drop gold, or I only drop, uh, you know, whatever. And then there's others that I'm, I'm a, a named or whatever, and I can drop anything, or I can drop something, you know, I can drop something good. Uh, so it's not just that. And then once, uh, you know, it is determined what kind of loot it's dropping, uh, it scales the loot based on, you know, what level the the monster is. So uh, if the monster uh, or the treasure chest is in one area it might uh, spawn light health potions versus heavier ones and blah 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 oh my god we we've lost our our hoe i hope the hoe is in the is in the bank i i i don't know if it is it is not okay we're gonna have to make a new one i hope that i put that in i think i did okay two iron bar bars and a wood okay all right good we will uh we're gonna have to make a new one. Oh, there's some ore right there iron ore we need a new hoe because we're going to need to do some planting here. And I think that ours dropped on the ground uh, when I died. So we're, we're building ourselves up here. We're building ourselves back from a, the brink of disaster where I kind of pushed ahead unwisely and, uh, and, and paid the consequences. All right, here we go. We've built ourselves a, a hoe, which will help a lot. We've got ourselves another wand here. That's not quite as good as the one we've got, but it's a good backup. Okay, uh, let's let's plant. We're gonna plant. Uh, any future plans for handheld devices? Uh, no, there. I mean, I, I would like to put this game on all sorts of platforms, but again, it depends if it's enough of a hit that I can support it, or you know, contract somebody to do it. Uh, it'll go onto as many platforms as possible. There's no reason why I don't want this on as many platforms as possible. So uh, I, you know, that is the ultimate goal to put it on as many as I can get it on the, of, you know, companies or platforms that are interested. Okay, we've got some uh, carrots being planted, which is going to help us. You know, we are getting low on food here. In fact, we're out of food. Uh, we have enough to kind of tide us over for a few more minutes. Uh, so that's good. All right. Um, uh, okay, we've got a decent wand. We're looking pretty good on the on the armor. Well, that's gonna be that's gonna be helpful. Um, uh, are there any other companies interested? Uh, you know, I can't talk about any kind of <laughs> interest or people that have reached out to me about uh, about putting on platforms. If and or anybody has. Uh, anyway, it's just not something I can talk about. Uh, 
Because anything like that, you know, companies want to keep that stuff kind of tight-lipped so that they can announce it. Uh, I know this is damn early, but do you have a plan B in case the game doesn't go as well as planned, a new project? So really the plan B is uh, I'll probably just get a job where it could be a variety of different things. I, I could start a full-blown, I could make Greybeard Games big. I could add a bunch of people and make a bigger project uh, and raise, it, it would involve kind of raising a bunch of money and uh, going out and starting something new. I could join a project. Uh, there are several projects out there that I would, I would like to join that I know about, the things that people are making. Uh, so, you know, it's hard to tell what it would be that I would do, but uh, the plan B would be either create a new development company and there's been a bunch of people that have that want me to start something. Um, so, you know, and that could be Greybeard or it could be something brand new. Uh oh, there is a unique, there's a unique squid guy. There's a unique squid guy over there. That is that is not good. The unique squid guy is not going to be good. That is going that's that's going to be tough. We want to kind of avoid him. Uh, all right, let's get. There's a a room here. We're gonna get into this room and we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and get ourselves some better equipment and uh, God those slimes the slimes they're just so accurate they're hyper accurate with their their shots oh man okay I can't attract the attention of that of that squid if that squid guy if that squid guy gets gets a hold of me things are gonna get ugly really quick okay I got to level ten. So I've got a new new item. This is a ni nice item. Every time you critical hit, you gave a five second critical hit buff. And it stacks up to 20 seconds. You keep gaining it until it gets up to 20 seconds every time you critical hit. And so you start out with, once you start critical hitting, you're going to start critical hitting quite a bit here with this item. So we're going to turn this on. We're going to put it on our bar. We're going to turn it on. We're going to save these items and make sure that... Because you only drop items in your bar. So we want to make sure that we can... All right. Uh, let's start. Let's get ourselves ready. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I didn't. I, I wasn't even paying attention to my life. I, th I think I went in there with, like, very little life. It was a good thing I saved some of that stuff or whatever. So uh, we'll we'll get back right back there. And, man, I'm having a tough time. Okay, uh, are you clearly shouldn't have created slimes after Quake Flayers? Uh, yeah, no kidding. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cheese this as much as possible up here. We're gonna get some killing of the of the things from far, far away, which will help. Oh, slimes, the slimes. All right. Okay. Whew. We got ourselves back together here. We got ourselves back together. Thank goodness. All right. I'm all out of torches. I'm so lost without you. Uh oh, I'm low on wood too. So uh, anyway, we might need to deal with that in a second. Okay. Oh, and a health potion. That's always key. I've got a few of those now. My health is really low. We should probably go back and, and rest up. But, uh, you know, I'm going to be dumb. All right, here we go. We're going to get in here. These guys aren't too threatening, uh, which is nice. Because they, they will blow up, and they'll blow up blocks. But, uh, but you know, if I, if I kill them over here, then they're going to kind of blow up and not create a hole down to the slime area there, uh, and that will be helpful. Okay, um, cheese it, yes, condoned by the man himself, exactly, well that's, that's part of the game, these are smart tactics, oh look at that, there's a blue, we got ourselves a blue crystal, that's going to be helpful, attack damage 2, heal by 1% of critical damage, you know, that combined with my critical damage things is good. Right now, my chance of a critical is only one, which is not good. Uh, but, you know, uh, if I do get a critical hit, I will start critical hitting quite a bit, probably. All right, I finished the uh, 
finish the uh, critical the uh, the quest to put a crystal in in your stuff. All right, that was good. That was a that was kind of a uncommon. I mean, there's a kind of common crystals which are green, uncommon are blue, rare are purple. There's ultra rare are orange. There's unique ones, and so there's there's a bunch of different uh, crystals that you can get, uh, and that that's going to be helpful. Uh, that was that was a pretty good one. All right. There's there's a bunch of ore over here too. So oh oh he just leaped out of the sky at me. Oh man, that was scary. All right. Just <laughs> it lurks from above. It's apparently oh oh come back here rune. Oh, the, I grabbed that just as about to bounce off the edge. Oh look there's oh we did find something good. Oh and then I got shot in the face. Oh dear oh dear uh. Let's say you work, would work on Diablo 4. Do you have some ideas? Uh, yeah, I have some ideas, but uh, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be working on Diablo 4, and I, I'm certainly not going to share them right now. Uh, anyway, so uh, you know, anything's possible. I could go back to work at Blizzard. That is definitely on the list of thing possibilities. It's not extremely likely, but it is it is on the list of possibilities. You found the enemy see Diablo 6 confirmed. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. Um, so over here there looks like there's going to be a bunch of these are crystal veins. And these are these each one of these things is going to pop out a crystal and there's like green crystal veins and there's uh, blue ones and purple ones and stuff and there's going to be a whole bunch of them over here in this section. So we're gonna head over there in a minute. Uh, we have some we have some killing to do. All right, we're we're not we're not really. Oh dear, I'm out of food, and uh, I'm also out of health for the most part. We got to get back to we got to get back to the camp. We got to harvest our food. We have to get our act together here. I've been uh, all morning. I've been working and I've been uh, playing. In God mode with all these cheats and stuff on, because you know it's the only way that I can really get anything done. It's the only way I can test things and whatnot. And so uh, I'm kind of used to that right now. And so I'm I'm <laughs> I'm uh, you know I, I'm kind of off kilter in my in my play here, Cappy Rune. And uh, and so I think that I'm you know I, I'm not used to playing the game for real. All right, these these need to become seeds. Great. Okay, we've got some food now. Uh, we've got a bunch of ore. Uh, we're gonna make some bars here. Sixteen bars. Excellent. That should make us some boots. I think we already have some of these things down in the dungeon that we dropped, but uh, you know, again, we're gonna we're gonna we need 15 bars. We need five more copper bars to get ourselves back into full copper gear, uh, and that will help a lot. Plus, we're gonna go get some crystals over in that crystal area, and I think once we do that, I think we're gonna be able to go back and get our get our items from the uh, original drop. We will finally have recovered from our our long sloggy nightmare of uh, of uh, of death of our death. Um, okay, let's see, uh, it would be, it would be actually the perfect game for Switch. I would buy it one day, uh, what is, I don't know, and I'm pretty sure many others would. I don't know, oh, oh, this game for the Switch. Yeah, I would love, the, and, and that's actually, you know, honestly, a little spoiler alert, that, that would be my number one preference on, on platform. I think this game would be awesome on Switch. I've got some cool ideas for it too. So, but anyway, that that would be that would be something that I think would be fun. Uh, you know, I don't think that these kind of indie games play as well or or are as you know hit the target audience as well on on PlayStation and Xbox as they do on Switch. Uh, so, if it's going to console, I think that's my that's my number one preference. But you know, honestly, any of them, all of them would be good. Uh, they would all be good for for me and for the game. All right. Um, so I'm almost full health. I've got uh, I've got full stamina. We've got some food, uh, and so I think it's time to uh, time to to first off kill these guys. Yeah, yeah. We needed to take care of them. 
Uh, that was that was easy peasy. Those guys were easy pickings. Uh, and now we're gonna get over to that that area. We're gonna get over here. I think we're just gonna go right over here and uh, and start lighting it up with these guys here. Come on in. Come on in. I'll take any customer over here. Just come on over. Come on over. You're next. Okay, great. Great. Oh, man. Slime. Really, slime? Slime. Slime. Why are you sliming me? Why you hate me so much, slime? Okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay, slime. It's time, you and I. It's go time for the two of us. Oh, and a level up. Nice. Well-timed. All right. That, that was pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and get up in here. Nice. All right, there's a blue crystal over there. Let's get, let's get this this crystal. Oh, don't jump! Don't don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! We don't want you to fall. We want you. We we're, we're gonna we're gonna consume that goodness. Look, it's Rot Soul the Mad. Rot Soul the Mad is over here. Uh, that's, that may present a bit of a challenge, but, uh, you know, it, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it here. All right, well, he is, stay still for a second, high critical chance. He's got a high critical chance. That's, uh, those guys are pretty tough, so, um, we'll see what happens. All right, let's get ourselves a little bit more vitality. We're a little low on health here. Uh, recall back to wherever the stone is, then you hit recall while standing. Yes, exactly. So there's kind of a back and forth when you stand next to the, uh, next to the homestone you're in your town or wherever you've placed it uh, and you hit recall it to send you back to where you were the last time you used it so it's kind of a back and forth toggle all right um, looks like that that'll do there we got some more in here this should do it I think this is all that we need for these are the last things we need for the for our armor that should be enough bars here uh, We've got, how much ore here? 14 ore. Yeah, that's plenty of ore now. So uh, we've got a couple more here. Resistance of fire. Two resistances to fire. I don't really like resistance to fire. We're, we're going to just... So one of the things you can do with... Uh, that I just showed off but didn't talk about. And it's not easy to see because it, nothing really happens. But um, uh, one of the things you can do with crystals is you have kind of a choice with the crystal. Once you've got the crystals, then you can uh, look at them, see them. Hey, do I like this crystal? Do I like the stats it's giving me? Is this what I'm searching for? Attack power. Yes, I like it. We'll place it in there. Uh, resistance to fire and ignores 50% target armor. Meh, yes, good. 50% target armor. That's a big number. So maybe, maybe I'll do that one. Um, there are a couple things to note here. I like that maybe a little bit better than, let's say, this attack power one. I can just put it right on top of the attack power one. It will swap. So the old one will come out and go right back to where it was. And the new one will be placed in there. Oh my god, we have a surface invasion. We gotta get back to the surface and defend our town here. My NPCs are gone. They've run for the hills. They're not happy. All right. Which way is okay? I think that the I think they're gonna mostly come from this direction. We're gonna go over here. Uh, when making game by yourself, do you have to police yourself on adding stuff? Uh, yeah, of course I have to police myself on adding stuff, but uh, you know I still do. If it's cool enough, I'll add it just because. It's important that I get cool stuff in the game. All right, this is gonna be the ultimate cheese. I think I'm just gonna be able to, well, it's gonna be the ultimate cheese for about two seconds and then they're gonna come pouring in here. Oh God, oh God. They just, they just slimed me. Thank God, I this still has the, uh, the poison cheese in it. Oh no, they're in my base and oh, this is gonna be, oh no, oh no. Okay, this is gonna be bad. All right, I gotta wait for them to kind of like scatter away. Go away, guys. Go away, invasion. I don't want you here no more. I've gotta get my stuff before I go and fight you again. Is there a secret unicorn level? There is not a secret unicorn level. I don't make secret unicorn levels. I make secret cow levels. Have you ever thought of using skill power-ups to allow classes to use the skills of other classes? I think 
hard lock stats for classes ultimately ends up being a balanced nightmare. Uh, so, but that's sort of what's going on here. You can find other classes' items and use them. Uh, and uh, so you get a specific set of items being that class. And then uh, you can use other classes' items as well. God, I still have been able to hold on to this, uh, hold on to my wand, which is really helpful. Okay, go away, invasion. I'll deal with you in a minute. Thank you. We've got to gather up some stuff. We've got to get ourselves a little protected. We've got to get ourselves back in order here. Man, I am just, I am, I am having terrible luck with this, this game. I am showing it off poorly. I have died a lot. I mean, a lot. A lot with this character. And, uh, all right, we're going to, we're going to get that buff going again. I still don't have very much critical hit. All right, did I, I think, did I drop the, I don't see. Yeah, oh, there's my platforms over here. So you can press Alt and uh, press Alt and see the name above the above the items. So it helps you find items that are on the ground. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go. A hundred points of damage. You did a hundred points of damage. These guys are brutal. And the reason they're brutal is the invasion is based on how deep you've been in the game. And so, uh, oh god, don't blow up there. Oh no. Uh, and so if, since I kind of kamikaze went right down into that, uh, right into that, uh, oh god, no. Oh no. Right down into that. Oh, oh damn it, another critical hit. Okay, I've got my critical hit buff going. I got my critical hit buff going. That's good. That's going to help me get weed through these guys. Oh, another critical hit. Another 100 point hit. Oh, I jumped over that one. One invader left. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Boom, there we go. Oof, our NPCs are back. The invading force has been eliminated. Thank goodness. Whew. So it's like based on how far you've been in the game, basically, is how, how tough the monsters are. All right. Um, okay, I think that I've got, I've got myself kind of back together here. We're out of health potions, unfortunately. But uh, we can get back here to the, the uh, crystals. So one of the things I was talking about with the crystals a little while ago is first you can swap them, which is really nice. Secondly... Uh, you can, uh, you have a choice. You can sell them, but you can also uh, destroy them. And you destroy them, and it creates these crystal shards. And I destroyed a couple of them now. I have 16. And it's based, how many shards you get is based on kind of the item level. As they get higher and higher, you get more and more shards, as well as how magical it is. And so uh, you use these crystal shards to create all sorts of magic items and magic runes and stuff like that. That's, uh, that's, you'll see that some of these things have crystal shard uh, costs, including uh, scroll of identify. Uh, so the, that it, it's a way to kind of like, you're going to want to recycle your old crystal magic energy to, to create new magical devices. Uh, does invasion just get worse independent? It, it can't, it's independent of your level. It's like a cross between your level and how deep you've been, kind of whatever the greater is. Okay, uh, that's a wisdom two. I don't really care about that right now. Okay, there's some more crystals down here. I think that oh, we we had enough we had enough here to uh, to make ourselves the chest again. I think I'm going to upgrade my chest to a uh, to a full on copper chest here. That should do it. That should be enough. Now I can make my copper chest. That was the last of the things that we needed there. We've got the full upgrade. We'll put a little attack power in that. Okay, now we're back into the, back in business here. Um, I really am missing my. Uh, I'm really missing my 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 other class item. 
but uh, you know, I, I hate to, I hesitate to go try and find that and not kind of get rid of these uh, crystals first. We want we want to kind of get through these, make sure that we collect these before we uh, we get over there and, and retrieve that item. But I, I want that item pretty darn badly. Okay, we'll get these crystals. Even if we're just going to use these crystals to uh, to destroy, you know, to make to make uh, shards, you know, that's going to be helpful because you can always use more of the, those crystal shards. That's for sure. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. That was good. It was good that we were able to kind of poison him. Well, look, he got poisoned again. The back and forth cheese. Here we go. Oh, no, I fell. Oh, no. Badly timed. Things got bad there. Oh, man. Mmm. 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 Drop right down into the death. Wrecked. Wrecked. And I dropped my wand, which is not going to be good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to retrieve that wand. I might have to. I might have to go back. Oh no! Oh no! He's camping my. He's camping my corpse. He's camping my corpse. Rot soul. Bastard. Okay, we've got a projectile. Two projectile ones. This one does a little bit more damage. We'll, we'll use that one. Uh, kind of shows how OP the wizard is. No, so, I mean, it isn't, that's not really fair. Uh, the fact is that I've, I'm, I don't have my class items, right? You know, and that's, uh, that's, that's a problem. Plus, I've had a terrible luck in this, uh, in this run. Um, oh, quick, quick. Oh, really? Really? You catch me on fire? You critical hit me and catch me on fire? Okay, that'll be helpful. There we go. Okay. Let's pick up our wand. Come on, come on, come on. Back to me, wand. No, 198. No, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, man. I'm hidden out underneath here. Scroll of regeneration just in time. Oh, a scroll of blessing. We, we should have been doing blessing. Blessing will help us. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. I just I wasn't able to host you from my phone, so I can log in. Alright, no problem. Sounds good. Alright, let's uh let's try and get back here. First we're gonna grab this crystal. Oh god, he's coming back. No, leave me alone, leave me alone. The mad. Dig on through to the other side. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna dig on through to the other side. No! Oh God! No! Oh God! He just came down. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that was. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Oh man! That is. That was brutal. <laughs> yes, the game has hardcore. <laughs> Oh, why not? One hit, uh, one hit kill or something there. And now I think he's gonna be stuck down there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with a new style of cheese. You guys are gonna see a new style of cheese here. Oh, you went lay above the death. Is this a new character? Uh, no, this is my character from yesterday, that uh, died like eight thousand times. And, uh, and, uh, as well as I lost all my stuff down in the dungeon. We're trying to recover from that. We have not been successful so far. Uh, but we're, we're trying to recover from it. A wisdom yeah. tube. We're just gonna eat that right up. All right. Now, I'm hoping. Okay, quick, quick. All right. First off. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. No, all right. I'm trying to I'm trying to try and trap him in here. Oh, look at that. There we go. Nicely done. There we go. The ultimate 
The ultimate way to, to cheese that in there. It's not a cheese. It's not a cheese. It's this is full on advanced tactics. There we go. Whew. Thank goodness. Nah. Rot soul. Take it. There we go. Oh, okay. We've recovered. We've recovered yet again. We've had to recover, but we've done it. Uh, did I, oops, I pressed the wrong button there. And did, is there, uh, I don't have any torches. We're getting low on stamina here. Oh, I don't have any wood. All right. Oh, no, the surface is invaded again. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh man, it's just one thing after another. It's just one thing after another. And I don't have any rule. I, I'm getting low on food. <laughs> this is... This has been this has been tough. This has been a tough slog here, people. <laughs> okay, and these, these this invasion force is brutal because they because <laughs> I did that little run or whatever. They're 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 pretty strong. Come on down. Come on down. Take the poison. All right. Okay, we're doing we're doing a little better this time. We're doing a little better. Things are looking up for us. Okay, I think that's pretty much the guys coming from this direction. We'll see. I think the other guys are going to be in my town. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're going to need a recharge going here. Let's get ourselves a little more vitality. We we need every hit point. Every hit point counts. Every hit point counts at this point. <laughs> God. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over the building here. I don't have a reflective one, which would be really helpful in this case. Why don't you b build some blocks there and give yourself a one space opening? Yeah, I might. I might do that. Not a cheese, people. This is uh, strategies. No, I think I think I, I think I can just get down here. There we go. Jeez. Come on back, invaders. Come on back, space invaders. Jeez. David tried to. Oh oh him. oh! He's still alive. Even oh, I didn't notice him because he turns black almost with the uh, the green, you know, as he's poisoned. So I didn't even notice him. Did you change the poison? I did. I changed poison. Poison, poison works. It only does a percentage of the of the you know base thing instead of the current hit points. But for some reason, it broke on the invader bosses, and I'm not really sure why it didn't broke. It broke on the invader bosses, but it it works on everything else. Oh, nice. Um, Hayes says, oh, I'd love to do see not kill my cow. I'd love to see an indie box of it lurks below, like a collector's edition or something. Yeah, it'd be fun. That's a neat idea. How? I don't know how I go about doing that, but, uh, you know, it's a fun say, idea. How, do, how does one do that? All right, how come on back. Do that? Uh, we forgot to do move bot stuff. Did you do move bot stuff? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to. Okay. I don't even know how to work it, so... Let me, I'm going to link the Steam page. Come on back. God, Ogres, you're running away from me. Come back here. So I can kill you. I'm tired. Three invaders left. I am tired, QFX. I just woke up. They're going the opposite direction, David. I know. I know they are. Go the other way. We've got lots to do. We've got lots to worry about here. Oh, you've got to, yeah, you've got to get wood. I am out of wood. <laughs> I am, you know, we got invaders. Space invaders. We got we to gotta start gathering up some wood here. And taking the, care of these invaders at the same time. Yeah, I was kind of, you know, th that's the problem is that you can chase them around in circles or whatever. So you got to kind of like go opposite directions. Okay, here he comes. We'll get him poisoned. See, we got him poisoned. He's it's doing 390 a pop. See, 390 a pop. 390 a pop. That is just see that that's why poison OP against invaders right there. Jesus. 
Jesus. Three ninety a pop. That's gonna get fixed in the patch <laughs> today. But uh, yeah. All right. Two invaders left. Oh, oh here comes one. Jumping over that. Last one. Last invader coming down the mountain. All right, there we go, okay. Whew. All right, we've taken care of that. We've gathered some wood. Things are a little bit better. I'll look it up, Hayes. Okay, now we'll be able to make some torches. We can put stuff back in our bank. Oh no, I'm slow. We're gonna use our coffee. What's supposed to be, what is supposed to be, question, what it, what's it supposed to be? What is what supposed to be? Oh, how much damage? It's supposed to be a small percentage of their health. Uh, but because the percentage of their health with these, uh, with the uniques or the powered up monsters are so high, uh, it does ridiculous amounts of damage. So instead it's supposed to do a percentage of kind of their, their, monst their base monster hit point damage instead of their kind of boosted or or unique monster, you know, before they get kind of their health and stats multiplied into, into bossness. Okay. Bubba says don't nerf it. They're invaders from a different planet. Earth poison should be... We don't know if this is Earth, though, do we? Oh, we do not. We do not know that. Yeah. Okay, I think that... I think we're finally ready to go get our class item. I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing it terribly. And so uh, let's uh, let's get back and and do that. You're just gonna ignore. I, uh, yeah, he's gonna get stuck. Rotsoul, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna kill Rotsoul someday. I just out of pure satisfaction, uh, but it, just out of spite. I feel like. Uh, uh, but it's it. But it's not now. The time is not now. It'd be nice if you could mark things on the map. Yeah, that's what a couple people have suggested that. Uh, and this guy, I'm really afraid of this unique. I, I just I ignored him because, you know, dealing with it... Because the first time I ran across him, it was, uh, you know, it's... Uh, we're just going to make a... We're going to box him in, too, because you cannot be careful enough, really. All right. How do you open the map? M, beta killer, M. M, M is map. The map. Yes. Boston. Okay. Do we not know it's Earth, or does he not know? We. Yeah, we don't know. Okay. Eddie says, oh my god, I, I'm watching David Brevik live. <laughs> Indeed. And hello, everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like, oh, it's so many jungle It looks like you can run up single squares, but it looks okay. slow. Can you craft slopes? No. The game doesn't. The game doesn't have slopes yet. I've been thinking about yet. put slopes. I've been thinking about putting in diagonal slopes in for roofing. So the roofs on the houses look a little better. Uh, you can you can up your speed, your movement speed in the game. So. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 kill everything down here. Doctor wants about wants to know about all the stuff you cut from Diablo One and why. Why? Why did you cut stuff from Diablo One? You know I can't really remember many of the things that we cut from Diablo One. Oh, That's no, been a long time ago. Down. Wrote them all down, but David uh, does like to talk about Diablo One. I do. You can also ask him on Twitter. Do I have a scroll? I have a scroll of blessing. That's going to help us out here. Oh, damn it. Bubba says, yeah, box in all the named enemies and then add an ability to put a big don't go here sign on the map. Exactly. A huge big don't go there sign. Avoid. Here there be monsters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are there recipes that use mushrooms? Not currently, uh, but there, you know, that's definitely something that could happen in the future for sure. Desperate. I just woke up. All right, look at this. See, we, it's just raining down on it here. Ruskin says you should become a full-time streamer. You're fun to watch. Oh, thank you. 
I make games, though. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. A level up just in time. Look at this. We've recovered our stuff. We've made it back. We got to our stuff. We got our cloak. Oh my god, it's so good. Feels so good, man. Feels good, man. Epic. Feels good. We made it back. Epic. Woo! All right. Now we can uh, equip our cloak. Teo says, why did you say throwing potions are the worst things about you, you implemented in Diablo 2? They are such a joy for speed runs. <laughs> Just because, I, you know, it was just, it, it, nobody really uses them. I mean, it, maybe they use them now in speedruns, but when people played the game originally, they just, like, they ignored them, right? Nobody, sold them. Yeah, they sold them. It was like, well, what, what is this? This is ridiculous. I don't need this. Okay, so now I've got my 40%. I come out of the shadows. I got 40% critical hit. And then combined with now my Assassin's Cow, which gives me a buff every time I critical hit, I get a five second critical hit buff of 10% critical hit, you know, on top of my others. We're gonna upgrade this right away too. Now, uh, now we're looking at pretty big critical hit, I think. Uh, we're gonna most likely be in a good critical hit situation. Uh, can I reach that? That wand, it's not that great, okay. Uh, I have one coffee left. That's not good enough. We're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to town. We're gonna sleep this off. We're gonna have a little victory, a little victory dance. Okay, we've got a backup. Oh, Buckmaster wants to know what the hardest part was in making Diablo One. The hardest part of making Diablo One, the multiplayer, simply because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I'd never made multiplayer or anything. So uh, that was definitely the hardest part for me. Okay, we've got we got some trees. Well, Diablo One had Battle.net, right? Yeah. That was. And I didn't know how to write anything in multiplayer, so like the guys from down south had to come help. They had to come, uh, you know, do the multiplayer basically and show me how to how to do it, how to write it, because I didn't know what I was doing. I, I'm always impressed with how you keep on learning how to do new stuff. Thanks. I feel like you know so much already about coding, and yet you, like, remember when you were working on the 3D project? It was just, like, from scratch, basically. It was so impressive. And I'm so tired. Sorry. This isn't about David. I, I actually got sleep, guys. I slept all morning. Yeah, she's been sleeping a lot. Yes, I need to... Many, many hours. Handle it. <laughs> many hours. Oh, I handle it. Um, quick question, David. Yes. Um, I have to go pick up our child. Yeah. Did you tell her that I'm going to meet her? No. Okay. I did not remind her. Okay. Then I will just go do the usual. I have to go eat and do stuff. Okay. Have fun. Let's get some planting going here. All right. Thank you. Thanks for helping out for a few minutes there. That was, that was appreciated. Uh, I, I can help with that if you need, I don't know. Would you ever need to go back? Would you ever go back and work for Blizzard? Yeah, maybe. There's a possibility. I would never say no, uh, that it's never gonna happen. But, you know, I don't think the odds are great, but it's possible. Oh, Anything's possible. I'll link the Steam page one more time. Steam page! Okay. We're really tired, but we're full on health. We got ourselves kind of back together here. Let's get that. That that will help. Uh, we're gonna we'll drink. We're gonna drink that coffee. All right, let's get back into the dungeon. We've got a we got a boss to kill. Fun, we got we're turning the tide on this game. We're turning the tide. It's all about it's all about you know your your attitude. It's about your mental attitude. Whether or not whether or not you can persevere through the tough times and uh, and get yourself. Get yourself right. Look at that. I'm coming out of the shadows. Did you see me come out of the shadows there and just critical hit the crap out of that guy? That was awesome. All right. Let's get down. Let's get down in here. 
Okay, slime. Bring it, bring it. Oh, the critical hits, they're mounting. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Critical hits. All the criticals. God, they're just poisoning the crap out of me. All right. Here comes another slime. Oh, God. I just don't have enough hit points. I just don't have enough hit points. I haven't found anything good to give me a bunch of hit points, so... It's tough, but I, I do have I do have my cloak, so that's good. I don't have any healing either. That's that's been that's been tough. That's been a tough call here. All right. Really, slime? Really, slime? Really, slime? Take that, slime. Take that. Let, my, let me get myself back together here. Scroll of identification. God, slimes. The slimes! So annoying. Okay, I only have two of these left. Oops, I put that in the wrong slot. There we go. All right, let's go, Slime. Slime, you are gonna pay the price. You are gonna pay the price in the most slimy way here. There we go, bam, Slime. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, God, another slime. Oh, really, slime? Mmm, slime. God. Saw a stream last night where he effectively placed all level points into, all leveling points into hit points. Yeah, go back to Blizz and make a D1, <laughs> high def D1. <laughs> Yeah, there's been there's been different ways that people have been playing. They've been playing, uh, you know, and that's that's kind of been some of the fun of the discovery of the game. Has been that's what I wanted kind of out of this beta. What are people going to do? Are they going to dump all their points into into attack? Are they going to dump all their points into in vitality? Are they going to dump it into their wand or recharge rate? The recharge rate really isn't all that worth it right now because. Uh, because the recharge rate really doesn't start taking effect and taking, uh, you know, doesn't have a big impact until you start going further down in the dungeon. And then it starts making a big difference. Uh, but that's not really part of the demo right now, I mean, the little beta here. This slime, I swear. All right. We're ready for you. I told you we were ready for you. Okay, here we go. I think we can take care of these guys first. All right, there we go. There we go. Now we're kind of rolling. We don't know what that mushroom is. Oh, we got a chest. Chest has appeared. Oh, I'm out of armor scaled on level. That's good. That's really good. That's good. That's going to be helpful. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Attack power, attack power. You know, with the yeah, I think I think we need a little bit more defense. We need a little bit more defense. So we got 16 extra armor there. That's going to help a lot. That will uh that will that will help quite a bit, I think. Okay, we'll get rid of those. Oh, I needed needed more platforms. All right. 
Uh oh, getting hungry. Getting hungry. And I'm out of food. I think I I, I just had made some new food. Oh, 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 a health potion. Come back here, health potion. Oh, oh come back to me. Come back to me. Whew. All right. I'm really glad that we found that. Okay, attack power two. We just have one like that or whatever. Let's, uh, we're going to sell those. We'll get this going back over here. All right, let's go back to town and let's harvest some of this food that I hope that we've made. Oh, good. We did. We did. We made it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because, uh, it was, it, I would have been, I, I, you would have seen, you would have seen my not happy face. Could have seen it. Could have seen it. It, it's, it's not a pretty face. My not happy face. Okay, we have now enough seeds there. We turned enough of them into seeds. We're, we're gonna cook some food here. Stomach down to eight. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for food. All right. Seriously, though, this would be great on a 2D, 3DS. Uh, the bomb screen can easily acts inventory and things like that. Yeah, I think so, too. I think I think it's also a fit for, you know, 3DS. It's also a really good fit for that. I agree. And I play a lot of 2DS, 3DS as well because uh, I'm a big Pokemon player. <laughs> I love Pokemon. So much. Oh, the critical hits are coming. They're flying. Oh, no. All right. Uh... I kind of want to get going here. I kind of want to hurry up and get to this before the buff wears out on my critical hit. Oh, 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 oh. Whew. That was close. That was close. Slimes. I had to use, I had to use my potion. I had to use my potion. A brilliant wand. We don't care. We don't like you. Oh, scroll regeneration. That would be... That's nice. That's nice. A little bit more of that. A little bit more of that. Okay, slimes. Oh, God, the poison. He dropped Scroll of Sustain. That's not bad. Okay, the leveling up. We got another level up. More vitality. All the vitality. We got a, we got a nice little blue crystal over here. I really want to get to. Oh, he just climbed the ladder. He climbed the ladder right up here. All right, quick before it disappears. Okay, let's see what we got. Armor, very nice, and ignores fifty percent of the target armor. Wow, that is a that is a nice item. All right, that is a really nice crystal. We're happy with that one. Oh. Pfft. Nicely done. That was well done. That is my extra expert uh, playing there. When you're bad at your own game. Okay. Uh, oh, this is kind of nice. This is kind of nice. Yeah. I, I think we're gonna go with this. This is it. This is a reflective wand. Our handy dandy trusty trusty reflective wand. Um 
All right, let's do this. Get this going. Get this. Get the reflections going everywhere. Oh, really? Really? God. So much damage. Oh, God. Poisoned again. It's brutal. All right, we're going we're gonna to read our skull of regeneration. This has just been too tough. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got a scroll of regeneration as a reward. That is helpful. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's get in here now. Let's get in here. We're going to get right up in here. Okay, slimes. Where are you, slimes? God, slimes. Just gonna ping pong it around in there. Mmm. Of course, I'm poisoned. Here comes a long list of slimes, a whole group of them. You know, I think that this multi-shot wands can be good for the slimes here. All these slimes up in here. Yeah, yeah, that's how we do it. All right. Switch back to my uh, to my regular wand here. Mm, another health potion. Gobble that right up. Whew. All right. There's another wand down here that dropped. Oops. Green one. Not that interesting. Man, there's so many slimes in here. Oh, <laughs> God, my aiming's terrible. Oh, and a level up. That is always appreciated. There we go. God, just, they're everywhere. We're filthy with the slimes. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Killed everything in the room. Oh, what was that? What was that scroll? Was that, that was a scroll of identification. Okay. Another coffee. Gotta have my coffee. Oh, we just got ourselves the Whisper Slippers. There we go. How many monster types are in the full game, blue video game? That's a good question. I don't know yet, honestly. Uh, I haven't designed them all, and I haven't made them all, but there are a lot more. There's, you know, going to be a whole bunch. And I got a whole bunch designed, like on paper, that, uh, you know, little sentences about what they, what they do. So uh, there's going to be, there's gonna be a, a large variety here. Uh, finished up my last beta stream now. Have to go to bed. Uh, sad the beta ends, but many thanks for the opportunity to play this amazing game. Yeah, well, thank you, Rare Bird. or raw. I, I think it's Raw Bird or Rare Bird. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, it's a uh, thank you. I'm glad that you had a good time. Um, okay, so we just got the Whisper Slippers. So what this does is every time you critically hit you gain a five-second stacking dodge buff. Now, this is going to be really good for my, uh, for my rogue here. They're going to end up dodging a lot of things. So uh, let's get our dodge chance up to 20% there. We'll get that buff going. So that combined with all of this stuff, we're, gonna, we're looking pretty good now. We're going to be in, a, in better shape than we were in. Uh, there's a beam wand that, that fell, but we don't, we don't really care about that. All right. So now we got dodge, we got, uh, we got critical hits going. Uh, so hopefully the combination of these things will, will get us into a position where we can actually succeed instead of keep dying. All right. Much needed. A much needed help here. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no! No 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 I, I don't know if there were some dodges in there or whatever, but uh, I ended up I ended up faring pretty well against them. That was kind of a it was kind of an intense section there. I thought that I thought for sure we were doomed. I thought we were going down. I thought we were going down in a fiery death. Honestly, I thought that was it. I thought it was the end times. I thought for sure we weren't going to make it. We, that that was going to be that was that was I, I heard the the calling. I heard the calling. I was walking towards the light. And, uh, and then, and then indeed, uh, I came back. I came back. Somebody resuscitated to me, resuscitated me, and, uh, and everything's good now. Everything is good. Oh, I forgot to go invisible. God. Poison. So much poison. You know, I think I'm going to change the uh, I'm going to change this cloak a little bit. I think that if you get a critical hit, you can it'll like reset the cooldown on the cloak just to make it so you can go right back into the shadows really quickly. I think that'll be fun. There we go. Look at that. That was expert. I jumped over the the shot there. Things are things are looking up. Oh, a double coffee. We love you, coffee. Thank you. Thank you. It was much needed. There we go. I've got a Steam page, yes. Please go check it out. Uh, you know, put it on your wish list or whatever. Uh, that, that'd be helpful. That'd be very helpful to me. Oh, okay. This is the wrong direction. We've gone the wrong direction for the boss, unfortunately. So now we are... Uh, we're gonna, I feel like I run out of shots really quickly. So now we got to go back the other direction. Oh, there's a there's a health potion down there. We we are always in need of health potions. So the boss is back this direction. Oh, let's. Oh, what was up there? Oh, oh, that's that's him. That's our man. That's our guy. That's him. Oh, it is. It's our old friend. It's our old friend, Rot Soul the Mad. Rot Soul the Mad's hanging out up there. He's only level 8. He's only level 8. I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted. Should I go back up there? Should I go back up there and take care of him? Should we, should we come full circle? Should we close this? It's not super easy to dig up in the game. But, uh, you know... Sometimes, sometimes you just have to have a mission. Sometimes you have to have a mission in the world. Sometimes you have to, you have to have a purpose. And this is just one of those times. Okay. Okay, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. The showdown is happening here. This is this is it's coming full circle. This is going to happen. This is this it's going to be on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Rot Rot Soul the Mad. I hate to break it to you, Rot Soul, but I am ready. I am ready for you. And it's not going to be pretty. Boom! Oh no! Oh, a critical right to the face. And he said, oh, you thought you were ready. You thought, but no, you're not even close to ready. No, 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 no. He's, he, no, there's, that, that is, he is not, he's not ready at all. No, there's, there, there, you were wrong. You were very, very wrong. You 
couldn't have been more wrong. Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, oh, my God. <laughs> and, and I dropped my cloak. I'm going to have to try and cheese him back into that hole so I can pick up my stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. That was tough. Oh, God, a slime. Really, slime? Yeah, I have I have hardcore in the game, uh, but uh, this is not hardcore. I, I would have th this yeah, I, this character. Oh, Jesus! Would have died a long time ago. Would have you know? I, I've died with this character many times in hardcore. I mean, you know, already in normal here, hardcore. I wouldn't have lasted seconds. Um. Okay, there's a slime over here. I, I hope that it doesn't target me. Woo! All right. Able to get through. Able to get through. Mm, slimes. Slimes. Oh. Oh, there are a couple of them there. Oh, no. Go back in your, go back in your hole, rot soul. There you go. Okay. I was not ready. I am not prepared. That was an unwise move. Rot soul just gets to go back into his little prison. He's going back into his prison and, uh, and hanging out in there. Because we can't deal with you right now. We have other things to do. That may be one of the hardest hardest mobs I've run across in the game, by the way. He is no joke, Rot Soul the Mad. No joke. Okay, that gets us a little staircase to get us back up there when we're ready. Next time we're really ready. Okay. God. No, it's the slimes. The slimes. They'll be, they'll be the death of me. Oh, a treasure chest appeared. That was, that was the last mob somewhere in one of the rooms. There'll be a fresh treasure chest on our way back, maybe. Oh, here it is. He belonged in here. Regeneration. We'll take it. We will take it. We can use all the help we can get at this point. Okay. Here we go. It is time to uh, time to make our way over. I think that we've we've gone pretty much. We got to. We, we're trying to get back to uh, to the boss. We're trying to get to the boss. We've got to kind of go the other direction here in, in these dungeon rooms. We've got kind of a linear set of rooms. And at the end of the linear set of rooms is going to be the boss. So uh, we're, we're making our way there. Can there be a health bar? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's a request that a lot of people have had. And I'm, I'm going to be putting that in where there's a health bar over your head. I'm also going to put a shield bar over there and maybe like a, a mana count or something like that. So you can just look right right in the middle. Uh, it's going to be an option, maybe like something that, um, you know, you, you use in the options. So you, can, you can toggle on and on. You, you don't have to have it on, but you can have it on if you want. I think uh, I spent all night watching your, uh, spent all night watching your fact. <laughs> well, thank you. 
All right, th th things are just jumping around in here, but we're gonna we're gonna get our we're gonna get our high crit going here and just try and shoot things from afar. God damn slimes! Oh god, he still gets me. These slimes are just hyper accurate. Dang it. All right, there we go. Demon Slayer. Pretty good. Coffee. You can always use more coffee. Oh, God, I jumped right into that slime shot. Mmm. Mmm. Take it, take that electric charge, slime. There we go. All right. There's some good stuff down here. We got a blue crystal. A blue crystal to investigate. Okay, attack power three and wisdom one. I think that that's an upgrade to one of these. That's uh, attack power two. That's a heal. Yeah, we already have an ignore 50%. All right, I think that we're going to put that one in there. That, that one's a little bit better. I think that's a little better for us. All right. All right. We're going to sneak in here. Oh, we've made it. We've made it, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to, time to get ourselves ready, kind of psyched up. We've made it back to the boss here. We've made it to the boss. We're going to go always town portal... Before a boss. Always town portal before a boss. Uh, can you explain a bit about how the whole health potion works? Are there health potions that can restore whole hit points? Pacho, no, there are not. Uh, there are items that do. There are, uh, there are, like, mushrooms that will give you full health basically over time in, like, five seconds. Uh, there are scrolls of regeneration that will give you full health because they run for minutes. Um, yeah, and then there's uh, the there's regulars, kind of different grades of health potions. There's kind of like a light, a medium, a heavy, etc. kind of thing. And they, they as you go down deeper in the dungeon, you find more and more powerful healing potions. Uh, but then there's healing items. Uh, there's, you know, there's ancient items that will heal you. And all sorts of stuff. There's also, uh, there's also, you know, uh, I've got, you know, if you're doing critical damage, you get healed for a percentage of your critical damage, and things like that. So there's there's a bunch of items in the game that have the potential to heal you. We don't need these. Uh, we'll leave one extra in there just in case. Uh, all right, I think that that's pretty good. We're getting a little low on, yeah, we're, we're low on food. It is time to do a little planting before we go kill the boss because uh, we got to make sure that, uh, you know, that, that things work out here. We got to, we cannot be messing around with the boss. And uh, we will get distracted and then we will starve to death unless we have planted something here. Okay, great. And there's nothing worse than feeling bad by starving to death. Because you just didn't do your planting. Alright. 
Uh, how do you uh, how do you program the slimes to walk along the walls? Uh, that took that took actually one of that was one of the more difficult things to do. It took a while to to actually get all the code working for that, but I felt that it was going to be worth it. And I've got a bunch of monsters that do it. You know, there are spiders that do it, and the slimes do it, and so uh, you know, I, I think that it was worth the the coding. So. Are there health fountains? There are not health fountains. Uh, but maybe I should put in a health shrine. I mean, there, there's kind of the equivalent. But uh, a health shrine seems like that would be something that, that we'd like to run across. Um, where you get just like a bunch of um, health uh, kind of over time for 15 minutes or something. Okay, I think we're ready. We've got our, we're going to get ourselves blessed, all blessed up in here. We're going to get ourselves regenerating. We're going to get ourselves stamina. We are uh, we're we, we're not going to go hungry. We're not going to go we're not going to go stamina. We got everything on. And it's time. It's time to face the boss here. Here we go. Start it off right. Start it off with a hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, the oh, the critical hits are happening. They're happening early and they're happening often. That's exactly what we'd like to see. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a chain of them. That was a chain of critical hits. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Boss has got no chance. He's got no chance. Get out of his beam. Get out of his beam. There we go. Nice. Quick work of him. That was really quick work. Uh-oh, we got an ancient item. We got uh, that, a, a wand, regular wand, a green wand. We did get a Tome of the Elements, which is pretty nice, and a blue wand. God, I haven't even had any purples. It has been, this seed has been brutal. Uh, I haven't even had purple items. So I did get an ancient item. This is uh, another class. This is from the wizard class. Uh, and it adds a percent percentage of your resistances to your to your weapon damage. So, like the higher your resistances are, you know, the more damage of that resistance type you're going to do. So, if you're if you've got fifty percent uh, lightning resistance, uh, you know, or fifty points of lightning resistance, it'll take those points of lightning resistance. And it'll add it to your damage if you're doing lightning damage. So uh, this is a, this is kind of a nice item in combination with some of the other things if you're going heavy resistances. So, uh, but it's not really all that great for us. In a very trolly kind of way, it's not that great for us. Okay, but one of the nice things that dropped, and one of the things that we're going to do right now is it's a large bag of recipes has dropped. And that, uh, that, I've learned to make some new things. I have learned to make a couple new buildings. We have the Hat Shack. Yeah, the Hat Shack! And, uh, and we have uh, the Wizard of Space and Time. And the Wizard of Space and Time is a, uh, is a building that allows you to kind of regenerate the dungeon. Maybe we'll try to build that. As well as the Hat Shack is exactly what you might think it is. It is the Hat Shack. And there's a hat slot that will override the look of your helmet and uh, show your hat. You still get all of your helmet stats, but it'll just kind of override it with, uh, with different hats. And there's a variety of different hats in the game uh, that you can buy at the Hat Shack. Uh, all right, so let's head back. We're going we're gonna to make something. We're going to see if we can put in. Uh, yeah, we will be taking hat suggestions for sure. For sure. Can you give uh, items to other classes or uh, uh, that's, uh, they are character bound? There is no way right now, there are no character, no bank slots or anything like that to transfer to different characters. However, I don't think it will be that hard to put in. And a lot of people have been requesting it, so I might do that. I might allow, I might allow some bank slots or put some bank slots in an unidentified blue wand. We're going to take a look at this. That's a reflective wand of wisdom. Eye level 10. That's slightly better. Slightly better than what we're using, but not not that much better, but slightly better. So we'll use it. Um, so I'll probably put in a couple slots in the uh, in the old banky uh, that allow you to transfer items to other characters if you want. The, the, you know, you'll so basically you go over here to the bank, and when you're in the bank, there would be like these slots, 
and then you like uh, you know maybe up here at the top or down at the bottom there'll be like a little space and then it'll say something like you know account slots or something like that and I'll give you four account slots to uh, or maybe even a little bit on the side another little window on the side for account slots or something and allow you to transfer between characters I don't see really any reason why you I wouldn't allow that the only thing is that then I might do something where uh, characters have to be a specific item level I mean a specific level to equip some of the items that's the only danger is I don't want the game to become too cheesy uh, for what you might ha- might be able to equip so uh, I'll think about it right now that, that doesn't exist uh, and there are you know obviously a, like I stated uh, you know a problem with there could be some problems but but overall, I like the concept. But uh, you know, it's a small price to pay, maybe for uh, having the you know an, a, a required level to equip items uh, to to allow the transfer. Uh, will there be charms? No, there are not charms in the game. I don't really like charms. In some ways, kind of the ancient items are charms because they have to be on your little hot bar down here, and there's only so many spaces. And, uh, and, you know, you're going to want at least a couple things of uh, light and, and whatnot. So you're going to, you know, the number of spaces that you have down here is very limited. And uh, so in some ways, uh, I, you know, the ancient items are kind of charmish. But uh, overall, not, there won't be charms at launch. You know, that doesn't mean that I won't ever make them. I'm not a huge fan of charms, but, uh, uh, but maybe I'll put them in eventually, if, you know, especially if people are <laughs> kind of clamoring for them. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I, I planted. Oh, we, were, we, we need to cook. I, I was kind of distracted there with all the answering of the questions. I forgot what I was doing. We need to make ourselves some food. Food. And uh, we need to make ourselves some seeds. Great. And where's my carrots? There they are. One, two, three. Great. Okay, we've got some leftovers here. We're not going to need this. We can sell those. We're going to sell some wands, get some cash monies. Cash monies, jing-a-ling-a-ling. Sell all that. Uh, 48, that's not worth it. We're going to we're going to change that into a We're going to change that into a into shards. It's not worth 48 gold, it's nothing. All right. Uh, we don't need that health potion. We have 5 that's risky, but I'll do it. Um, okay, and we don't need this, but 250 is not enough to sell. We're gonna we're gonna keep it for a rainy day in case we need it for a new, uh, uh, you know our build later on or something like that. So uh, let's put that back in the bank. Put that right into the bank. Instead of charms, there should be tattoos. That would be permanent but powerful. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I like the idea of tattoos. That's kind of fun. All right. Um, I think we got everything we planted. Now we're going to make a building, and I really want to make the hat shack. And that takes wheat bushels. We have seven wheat seeds, but we're going to need ten. So we're going to have to plant some wheat seeds here. Hopefully she's selling some. Darn, she's not selling any wheat seeds right now. So let's go scour the surface and see if we can find we can find some wheat seeds. Somebody was asking earlier, like, you kind of slow up as you go up, as you kind of get close to the... Uh, you know, as you're walking along, you kind of like bang into the uh, into the dirt. And they asked whether or not I can change that. And uh, I'm not sure I can. I mean, I can. There's no reason I can't program that. But I'm not sure I will, is what I'm, I'm saying. Uh, I was hesitant to even put in auto jump in the first place. Uh, but I did. Uh, and it, uh, but in a lot of ways... The, what what would happen though the the way that you would that would go about is that you would have like a little circle around you you would be a little a little ball in the world and as you kind of come up against the uh, the oh I guess the people were asking about ramps mainly but uh, you come up against the the edge of this you would slowly start to float up in the air and uh, and uh, and it, you know I don't like the way that that looks, uh, so that, uh, that that's really the biggest reason is it, it feels really slimy and it's much more difficult to uh, 
to kind of navigate the world when you're, when you're doing that. It's uh, much difficult, much more difficult to kind of navigate dungeons and platforms and stuff like that when you're a little ball rolling around on the surface. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, those who are just joining who don't know, this is It Lurks Below. Uh, this is a game that I'm making by myself. I started about a year and a month and three weeks ago. Maybe maybe almost two months now. A year and two months ago. Somewhere right in there. Oh, look. There's some wheat. That's going to be helpful. That's what we were looking for. Uh, Uh-oh. Getting hungry. We need seeds. We've got... We're doing pretty good on wood. 130 wood. That's pretty good. Oh, there we go. There's a berry. Always looking for a berry. Barry will tide me over until my food is ready. Okay, so we've got a couple. Uh, we got a couple pieces of wood. Uh, and uh, oh, I already did that. Did this? Okay, we we were we we're gonna try and do. We were trying to do uh, nine wheat seeds. Oh, but very soon the vendors refresh. The vendors refresh at midnight. Uh, so uh, you know we've got we've got just a little while. In the meantime, let's uh, start planting. Let's get our let's get our our planting going, our planting ready, because we we need to make this hat shack. We need to make. I need a hat. I'm gonna need to look cool, styling, styling. Uh, and so there we go. Let's uh, that that's ready. We got our wheat seed semi ready. It's 11:15. Oh, I'm still hungry. Jeez, the hunger never ends, people. All right, let's uh, let's cook a little bit more food here. How we doing? Looking pretty good. All right. Uh, could you add an ability to slope the ground? Yeah, I think I think I could. I could. And it's probably a better solution. Um, bottle of coffee. I don't think I want to spend the bottle of coffee. Okay, it's after midnight. Oh, God. No luck. All right. Let's take a nap. All right, how often does the map reset or respawn stuff? It, it does. It's it, you know, it's constantly doing it. It's like every every hour game time, or maybe you know, I think it's random. Uh, there's kind of it can, it's like between an hour and two hours or something. You can put something new on the map, so you can get new stuff. Um, maybe maybe they don't reset at uh, at midnight, but some other time. Anyway. To be one short is, is, is sucks, but so we're going to go ahead and we're going to plant these. We're going to plant them because we'll just take the seeds then and we'll, we'll get it up to 10. We'll make some in this, we'll keep some of them and we'll make others into it. We, we, we're done waiting. All right, let's, let's go adventure some. I really wanted to make the, uh, I wanted to make the hatch act, but it's going to have to wait, uh, wait for a few minutes. So let's go back here. Uh, we'll go back and we'll continue our adventure. We're going to go get on down into the ice levels. Make our way down here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, down into the ice. Down into the cold. All right. Um, let's see. I don't see anything obvious here. Let's start exploring. We're going to be on the lookout for the next ore type. And, uh, of course, any kind of cool rooms that we wanna, we'd want to run across. Which way to go? Oh, there's some ore right over here. This the next level of ore is mithril. Uh, let's get some uh, torches going. And so, uh, you know, let's let's start farming some of this mithril here. There we go. We got our new recipes going. First order of business, as always, is upgrading your pick. Make sure you're doing a little bit more damage with that bad boy so that you can, uh, I, we can mine a little faster. 
Uh, well, let's let's swap these muddy dirt. We're out of the muddy area. We could probably go to the bank with that, uh, the old muddy stuff, and uh, and start getting into the. Um, can't see. Uh, and start. Uh, we can put that stuff back in the bank because we're not going to be collecting any more of those blocks. Okay, so it takes two. Uh, you know, on and the iron ore when you're starting out, it only takes one. Uh, block. It only takes one block to uh, to uh, uh, and one piece of ore to make a, a bar. As you l progress later in the game, it takes two copper takes two to make a bar. Mithril takes two to, to make a bar, uh, and then the the recipes become more expensive as well. To make a mithril chest takes more bars uh, than it did to make a copper, and copper's more than than iron. So. Uh, all right, we've got we've got some ore, which is helpful. We've got we've unlocked our recipes. We've got new new recipes here, new new bars. The mithril bar is is makeable. Um, and uh, so let's let's make some bars, including the. Uh, I think it takes three. Yep, three to make the pick there. Okay, we've made the mithril pick. That's going to get things going a little faster. So let's go up to the bank and we'll drop some stuff off. And head back down into the ice area. Uh, can you make the creative mode features enabled, disabled, so they're optional? Uh, I don't understand. So this this is uh, kind of I, I think this is the concept that you're asking about, Scap uh, Scapleton, is that uh, recently there's a, there's a game, an indie game that just came out about mountain climbing. Is that, is that called Celeste? I think that they, I think that that's what it's called, but I might be wrong. Uh, anyway, there's this mountain climbing game that just recently came out, and they don't have they don't have difficulties. Instead, they have uh, they have like a series of options that you can do, and so you can make the game easier or harder based on how you set these options. So game difficulty is not just one setting of easy, medium, hard is instead a series of like, it's like a menu of I'll have this on and this off and that kind of stuff that will make some of the stuff easier and some of the stuff harder. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting concept. Maybe I would do that. Maybe maybe I would. That's kind of, I like that idea. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of, that, that might be fun. It might be fun to kind of have a harder version of the game but still be able to do things like place all sorts of blocks or something like that so you can make a fancy town or a fancy house. Uh, one question related with hardcore and game difficulty over, will hardcore be harder than normal mode? Right now it is not, Pacho. Uh, hardcore is the same difficulty uh, as, uh, as your game, as, as the normal game. It's just you only have one, one life to live. So there is, no, there is no difference right now. Okay, we can get rid of some of these blocks, like I was saying. We're not going to be collecting more of these. We're done with the copper ore. Uh, we were done with the muddy dirt. We we're done with the rough stone. Uh, we're run, done with dirt, 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 dirt. Went away long ago. Uh, okay, that'll free up a little bit. You know, bank space is, or inventory space is, is critical. It's a critical thing. So you want, you want to clear out as much as possible. All right. This stuff's coming along. Let's see. We're going to go back to the vendor. We're going to hope, hope that she has some seeds. God, still no seeds. Getting trolled by the vendor. All right. Um, I made everything there. Oh, I needed to make more food. One more. One more of the food bowls. I can eat it. All right. Let's head back. Beta's closed right now. Sorry. Those that are asking. I've got more more feedback and more uh, more stuff to do than I can handle, unfortunately. Or fortunately, both. A little unfortunate and fortunate. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, it's about to get real here. The squid guys, they aren't. Oh, they aren't messing around. And in here comes the squid guys. They're blowing up the blocks. Yes, they're carving their way through to you. Uh. Anyway, we we got to be careful with these guys because they will they will. They will bring it down. They will bring it down on you. The wrath. They are no joke. All 
All right. Hello. Hey, Kubi. How are you? Good to see you. All right. There's, there's a shrine over there. Come on up. Line up. Line it up. More slimes. More slimes. Handle it. Oh, these guys are teleporting, but there is nothing to teleport behind. Oh, nice. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. What's down here? Some items that dropped. Scroll of Light. That's a fun one. That's a good one. That'll, that'll, that's always helpful. All right. Uh, let's start digging in here. We'll see what the shrine is. Let's get ourselves a shrine buff. What will the shrine be? I was originally really happy with kind of this light dark contrast or whatever, but I think that the dark stone is a little bit too dark in the background. You can't tell the foreground dark stone versus the background dark stone. So I think I might be changing it. Might be changing the color combinations in here uh, after playing with it for a little while. <laughs> well done. Good button. Good bud button mashing there. We want this one back. Here we go. Boom. I feel empowered. Oh, I got magic find. 50% magic find. 50% magic find. We should leave this for later. We should go, we should go take advantage of that 50% magic find. Oh! and gentlemen <laughs> what do we got here what do we got right here that is a portal mm. that is a dimensional portal yes exactly that is a dimensional portal to a secret area mmm Mm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. All right. Well, we may end up running the stream a little bit longer than I intended because we found ourselves a portal. All right. So we got the portal, which is good. A portal is, is a really good, a rare, really good find. But it is going to be tough in there. It is going to be really difficult in the portal. I don't know if we're going to be able to handle it. Or not. We'll see. Okay. I'm a little worried about the portal. I'm I'm a little worried about everything, honestly. Oh no, 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 oh god. I've got the wrong button that selected as well. Oh, F, quick. Oh, hide. Oh man. Oh, he just destroyed everything. I fell to my death. Didn't die, but almost fell to my death. Whoo! Oh, we got a new crystal. Triangle crystal. That's for the next level. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Mmm. Mmm. Seems to be a bug. As well. God. Those guys. Those guys are brutal. So are the- oh, oh! No, 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 no! God dang it! No! Oh, man! Slime! Don't hit me, slime! Don't you- Oh, I jumped right into it! Oh, man. Whew! Awesome. Alright, here we go. Okay, those- the- 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 the, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the- the, the, the squid guys, the Cthulhu guys, those guys are tough. Oh, it's a scroll of death. Oh my god, that's well-timed. We got a scroll of death. That is awesome. That is awesome. 
So this kills all of the enemies nearby and doesn't give you any experience or rewards and bosses are immune. But the scroll of death will kill everything. And one of the worst parts of this portal is that as soon as you go through the portal, there's just a ton of monsters in there. And so if I can kind of hit that portal and read my death scroll, bam, then I think that I think I think we can get we can get uh, we can get in there. And once you're in the portal, then you know the game's changed. The, the, we're in a game changer kind of situation. So uh, that that could be helpful. All right, we're still really hurting, and we're low on food, and we're low on health, and uh, we need to take a little breather, and we need to go back. We got our our stuff is ready. We're gonna heal. Uh, wait, actually, before we get much further with that, let's uh, let's go check on our let's go check and see if our troll has given us seeds. Cabbage, carrot, sunflower, berry. Cabbage, carrot, sunflower, berry. We knew it. We knew that was going to happen. We knew that the trolling was going to be real. We knew that this was this was this we the outlook was grim. We we you know we we suspected. We suspected because that's just how things have rolled for us with this seed. However, things have turned. Things have turned. Things. There's been some good luck and some bad luck. A lot of bad luck. But now that we have this. Uh, now that we have this uh, the scroll and we found a portal, things are looking up for us. Things are looking up for us. Okay. Would it be a bad idea uh, for the blocks to have a slight chance of a random drop? Only the blocks, only the box created, not the ones you placed. I I could do that. I don't know if it's not that bad of an idea. It'd be that'd be kind of fun. Do it. Yes. All right. Here we go. <sighs> the vendor is JQ. Of course, she's going to troll you. Yes, absolutely. All right. Okay. I think we're, I think we're going to enter the portal. We've got, we've got our stuff ready and planted for the, uh, for the, the shack, the hat shack. The hat shack is going to get ready. Uh, but we aren't, uh, we, we aren't there yet. Okay. Let's hide. We'll pick up some of this junk here and we'll see what's going on. All right, we got it. We're going to climb up here. Okay. Now, I've got to get ready. I think I I think I got my keys ready here. We're going to we're going to we're going to jump through. Bam, we're going to hit the scroll right as we go through. Okay, next stretched out. We're invisible. Here we go. Bam! There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Killed everything. Super helpful. All right. He's eye level 12. All right. These guys are pretty serious, but not too bad. All right. Let's uh, let's start killing. Mmm. God, these guys. All of the... Uh, what is that? What is that? Magic mapping. Okay, let's get a blessing and a regeneration going. Let's get a blessing and a regeneration going. Oh, look at that. What is that? What could that be? That is a rare wand. It's not identified. We've got to identify it. That is good. That's an upgrade. A rare multi-shot wand with 253 hit points. Oh, baby. That is exactly what the doctor ordered right there. Oh, yeah. A fire, rare fire wand, multi-shot fire wand. That is gonna, that is gonna, that is gonna be good. All right. Maybe that was my, maybe that was, uh, that was from my increased magic find. Do you think it was from my buff? Do you think it was from my buff? I think so. All right. Okay, we're gonna open the do the door to disasters here. Let's bring this on. Let's go. Let's go. Leroy Jenkins time. Here we go. Come on, people. Bring it on. Oh yeah. Clearing it out. Look at that. Looking good. Uh-oh. These guys, 
backstab. They turn around, they teleport right behind you and backstab. Oh, oh. And they're really hard to see on this background. They're like, they're gray on gray kind of thing. So, uh, it is ugly in here. It is ugly. Ugly. There we go. Come on, slimes. Come on, little baby slimes. You think you you think you're tough. You haven't experienced tough till you face this multi-shot rare wand. Oh my god, he's frozen me. All right. That is just a lot of good stuff in there. We've got increased health potions. We've got new stuff. We've got scrolls of blessing. Mmm. This is good. This is good. This is delicious. Scroll of light. We've got uh, potions of healing. Blessing, healing, regeneration. Another regeneration. This is all good in here. All right. Okay, now we're, we're running a little oil and energy. We're going to drink a coffee. Got my coffee. Magic mapping we're not going to use yet. Regeneration, blessing. We'll go, we're going to do a little bit more blessing. We're going to go with another regeneration. That was effective for us. We're going to swap which health potions we have because these are better. All right. Let's do this. Boom. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Magic wand. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. God, there's slime somewhere. There's slime somewhere and they're freezing me. It's mainly this guy. Oh. Stabby McStabbins. Raining down. Teleporting behind me. Oh, digging away. Dude, digging away. All right. Good stuff. Sustain. Nice. Oh! Teleported right behind me. Uh, if you ever put on auto loot option, like when you run over stuff, it picks up. So I, I, there is some stuff that auto loots. There, there is stuff that auto loots, and there is stuff that does not. And that's simply because, like, I can walk over this block and it just picks it up. Blocks, things that stack really high, gold, things like that, auto pick up from walking across. But uh, eventually, look at that, people. We have ourselves our first purple gem. Our first purple gem. Uh, that, uh, you know, we, I don't uh, want to auto pick up like wands and, uh, and uh, scrolls and things like that. Maybe, maybe I'll add it to scrolls, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want your inventory just getting clogged with all sorts of crap. I want you to make a decision on what to pick up. And uh, so eventually you might have like a really cool wand and you don't really even care about the wands. And as you're kind of running around fighting monsters, it's all getting sucked up into your inventory. That sucks. So, uh, you know, maybe is an option that you could toggle on really quickly on and off. Maybe, maybe that makes sense. Uh, but right now, uh, that's, that's not the case. That right now you have to hand pick up everything. But I'm open to the idea of maybe a, a you know, on screen options menu toggle thing. All right. Let's go poison spitters. Man, the, these couple hundred hit points have helped a lot. We're doing much better than we were. Still got two minutes left on our great, on our great uh, buff of of magic fine. So we're gonna we're gonna take to it here. Oh God! Really, really, really! Learn to play your game, noob. There we go. Oh, there's a ring pattern over there. I wonder what that is. Ring of Life Tap. That's a really good one for this class. That is a really good... Oh my god, it's rings everywhere. Ring of High Jump. Ring of Critical Protection. Critical Protection. Which is great. 
But this one right here, Ring of Life Tap, that's my boy. That's my boy right there. Ring of High Jump. Okay, because we've got Ring of Life Tap gives us 5% critical hit innately. Uh, oh no, excuse me. Gives you 2% critical hit chance, but 5% of the critical damage you do, you heal for. So this is a healing thing. It's a life tap kind of uh, ring, which goes perfect with my get up. Man, what a great find that is right in there. Right in our wheelhouse. That is exactly the kind of thing that we are looking for. Okay, 35 seconds left on my buff here. Let's try and go for it. Come on, come on, everybody. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Ah! I only have 30 seconds left. Come on, drop all the good stuff. Oh no, did I die? I died! Oh, I did. that was quick! Because it started flashing red and then bam, it just happened. I must have been being backstabbed or something, didn't see it. Oh dear, oh dear me. Oh dear me. Noob. Little, four little dudes backstabbing Yeah, Yeah, I think so. All right, should we go back and get the corpse? I think we need to get back there. Oh, look, our weed is ready. All right. These guys can see us, unfortunately. Luckily, they don't really, they don't really do much. We'll give our foot dodge. You know, foot dodge is not going to give us very much here. That's not going to help us that much. That's not the kind of help that we're looking for, really. Well, let's extend how many shots we're doing here. Okay, Slime's just going to be the death of me over here. I've just got this feeling he was just going to kind of reach out and grab me and... Oh, really? Really? Stunned me? Stunned me, Slime? Okay. This could get real ugly. There's a there's a there's some stabbies in there. There's some stabbies. We're low on food. This is a bad situation. This is a bad situation for a lot of reasons. Mainly because we're low on food. Oh, there's there's some stuff right here. Okay. Magic mapping. We got another scroll of magic mapping, which is a helpful scroll. Uh, we got weed seeds, which we don't care about really that much. Reflective wand. We still got our good wand, which is helpful. Um, getting low on s stuff there. Whew. All right. Come on, stabby guys. Put your back against the wall, prevents the stabbing. Put your back. If they can't get behind you, if they can't get behind you, they can't kill you. Ah! There you go. Oh, another rare wand. That must have dropped while we were, uh, while we were kind of getting, you know, had our buff going still. They're on fire over there. We got our guys on fire. And luckily the fire spreads. If they're standing next to other guys, the other guys will catch on fire as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So that fire spreads. That just spreads and spreads. It's worn out, but uh, that that is helpful. Oh, really? Shocked? Shocked? He's got 1% hit points left. There we go. All right. Pick up all the sand. All my stuff's down in there with the slime. There's a scroll of teleport.
Not enough inventory space. Something's gonna have to pay the price. That. Okay. We've got our stuff back. Putting our buffs on. We're hiding. Things are smoothing, getting smoother here. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get ourselves back. Unfortunately, we have to get ourselves right back to town because we have got to get to planting. We've got to get to planting because we are almost out of food. And things go bad when you run out of food. We only have a little bit of health up. We got one food pack left, one, one bowl of vegetables left. We do have our wheat though. We can make our hat shop. All right, let's uh, let's get to planting these cabbages here. All right, much better. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling a little more secure in my survivability here. I think that uh, you know it's looking good that I could survive now. There is a chance. There is there is a chance. I didn't say it's a high chance. I never claimed it was a high chance. Okay, we've got a, a thing to identify. We've got ore to... Oh, man. We've got so much to do. we got maintenance stuff to do here in town before we get back there. All right, so I've run a little late here. Um, I was supposed to go to two, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep going. And I don't see any real reason to end because I'm having a good time. So I hope everybody else is having a good time. And, uh, and we're going to keep this rolling. Okay, we need to make we need to make some bars. Okay, we have some bars there. That that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. We can make the mithril helm. Mithril helm's a good one. Oh, see that that's our last food right there. That was our last food. Okay, uh, let's see. We got scrolls of light, sustain. There's no reason not to read those sustains right now. Um, blessing, stamina. We're gonna get that stamina. Get that. Get that going. Let's let's sell some of these these wands. They're taking up a little bit too much space here. Okay, we've got we've got this purple crystal. We need to get make some identify scrolls. But we got we just got a whole bunch of stuff in our in our inventory here. You know, there's just a whole bunch of stuff to kind of deal with. Uh, there's a lot of maintenance here. We got a rare wand. We've got a, a beam wand. The beam wand is pretty nice. What's nice about that beam wand? I level 14. This is 13. Is that it's got speed three on it? And I love speed. We don't want that one. We don't want that one. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Tough decisions are made. Sometimes you just sell things, and maybe it wasn't the wisest decision. But sometimes you just gotta sell them. School of teleports worthless. I fixed it in the new, and the new one. Now she's selling. Of course, now she's selling wheat seeds. Of course, she's selling the wheat seeds. God. Oh. Mm. 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 No, thank you. No, thank you. There's a magic find. That one's nice. All right. Um. Okay, so what do we need for the shop? Because we it's time to get serious about the shop. We need wood. We, we got plenty of wood. We need horizontal beams and vertical beams. These are easy. These are just blocks that you can make. You can make them anytime. They're kind of decorative blocks. And uh, so we'll make some decorative block uh, beams here. Horizontal beam, vertical beam. And now we can make the hat shack. The hat shack's made. Here we go. Time to carve out our little spot for the hat shack. We're gonna put it right up here on the hill. Maybe it's a little far away, but you know, whatever. Here we go. Hat shack, place down. Yeah, hat vendor. Fez, there's a fez for sale. A fez for sale. We got our fez. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to be in good shape now. <laughs> awesome. Good news. Good news, everybody. 
Good news. Okay, let's make let's make uh, let's make an identify scroll. So the way you make identify scrolls, you need parchment, which comes from trees, and uh, and then you just make magical you, under the magical devices. We have a scroll of identification, and it costs five of these shards. Remember, I've been kind of destroying the crystals that I found instead of selling them to make uh, crystal shards even better here. So let's uh, let's grab a scroll of identification here. So we need one, two, two scrolls of identification to get those things set up there. Uh, we'll 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 do that one too, even though it's not you know it's a greenie. It's a greenie. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna waste it on there. All right. Uh, this is a projectile wand. It is poison. It heals by one percent. It's adding on to our one percent critical hit healing. So it's just adding on to that. It's got resistant poison and increased magic find. That's okay. But I I'm really digging the dire wand here. I'm really digging the two hundred hit points that we get from that bad boy. All right. So uh, this is a grim rock. Attack power one, mana increased by percentage, and weapon minimum weapon damage increased. So that's a that's a nice one. The minimum weapon damage increase is really nice. This has got attack speed on it. That's armor. Uh, yeah, I think that that's one percent critical hit, healed by one percent damage. Who who? Ooh, I don't know where to put that. I don't know what to put that on. I don't know. No, I don't know if I should. Re All right, we're going to replace this. I don't know if this is a wise decision, because that attack speed increase is really nice. But, you know, our damage has gone up, so uh, we're going to we're going to go with it. We're going to go with the flow here, and we're going to ha harvest our crops. Tough decisions were made. Tough decisions were made, but we but we made them, and I'm proud of ourselves for making those. Okay, so now we've uh, we've got all our crops going here. That's that's much better. Uh, we're gonna put that glowing cane in the bank. Uh, we'll put our helmet in the bank. And uh, I don't know why we have dirt. That can just be stacked on top of the other dirt in the bank. Okay. Uh, I think that we've got a scroll of light, scroll of identification. We can make some, we need to make some food. Man, space just gets tight. It gets tight. All right. Um, so I, I think I kind of want to, I kind of want to make this life tap, life tap uh, ring. This life tap ring is really going to help us out. Can you take the gems out of sockets? No, you can't right now. However, today, this afternoon... I'm in the new patch that I'm putting out this afternoon, uh, which I know is kind of cruel since the beta is going to be ending soon. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to add the ability to remove the sockets. Right now, you can do a swap, but you can't you can't remove. And I desperately would like to remove. But I think I kind of I kind of want to make this I kind of want to make this uh, this this life tap room. So in order to do that, we have to we have bet runes. We have to make a bet rune. Bet rune is from a dark stone brick. We need two of these. So two dark stone bricks. Dark stone bricks are these. And they're just cobblestone and iron ore. So pretty easy to gather those materials. Cobblestone. We have a, a lot. We have, we have it. And then there's some iron ore. Happens to be some iron ore right here. We're just going to need two of these. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now uh, we can make two of the... I needed dark stone bricks, right? That's, that's what I needed. I needed... Uh, there was... Jeez, I've really gone backwards here. Bet rune, dark stone bricks. That's right. Dark stone bricks, two of those. Bam, there we go. Okay, so now I can go over to the crafting table. I can make... I can make these two bet runes. This is the first of the runes that we're going to need. There we go. Two of those. Bam, nice. Now, let's see what else. Oh, I made a rune. I completed my quest to make a rune. There we go. Uh, and then um, uh, we're going to go back to magical devices. Got the two bet runes. Now we need a cappy, two cappy, and a mew, and a copper bar. 
Mew's tough. Mew is Mew has to be found. Mew, Mew has to be found. Sort of. There is a way to get a Mew rune. But not through finding it. And maybe I'll show that off. Okay, we have a, a Cappy rune. I think Cappy was one of them we needed, right? We need two Cappy and one Mew. Two Cappy and one Mew. So we had one Cappy. Cappy is sculpted Dark Cube, which we have all the supplies for right now. Bam. And, uh, and then we can make this second Cappy. So we're going to have the two Cappies here. Excellent. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't cooked my food yet. I have not cooked my food. All right. That's good. Uh, we'll make one more of those. We need some seeds. Fortunately, all the rest of those are seeds. All right. Now, uh, we just happen to have found a portal. And so I have the uh, ability to show this off now. Uh, let's... Um, Let's see, what's, what's going to be the easiest? I think, I think iron, getting this iron ore going here. We're going to need three of these iron ores. One, two, three. Okay, we got three iron ores going. That's good. And then we have enough of those. So we can go and we can make, we can make three of these dark stone blocks. Great. And now with that, we can make three ala runes. So we're going to make three ala runes, and then we're going to take that with us. We are going to take that with us back to where we were. Okay, we're ready. We've got our fez. We're going back. Things are looking good. Here we go. Ooh, a level up. Nice. Mmm. I'm frozen. It keeps shocking me. Lightning shocking me. Scroll of regeneration. Scroll of light. Okay. All right. So I got to level up, which is good. Uh, let's go a little more vitality. We can always use more vitality. All right. Here we go. This room is going to get ugly. But this is the final room. This is what we needed. This is what we were looking for. Okay. Bag it up. Bag it up. Bag it up. Come on out, everybody. Come on out. It's time to party over in this room. Uh oh, backstabby guys, backstabby guys, backstabby guys. Come on over. Come on over. Come on down. Come on in here. Or just catch on fire. The whole room just catch on fire, please. The whole room just catch on fire. All right, making our way through, looking good. We got some, got some green gems, common wand. Okay, we're down to the slimes in here. We're gonna, we can take on the slimes. I'm confident in my ability to get stunned and take on slimes. All right, okay, we have made it to the altar. We have made it to the altar room, which is. One of the fun endings to these to these portals here. And out of this, we'll open this one. And uh, this is exactly what we're doing here. Any three runes become the next rare rune. That is the one of the recipes that we were just taught. Let's see what this one is. Same one. We got the same one. We were trolled. But, like I said earlier... Let's get these one, two, uh, three runes become the next rare. Bam! And there is our Mew rune, which is what it takes to make our ring. We got the Mew rune. We just need the copper bar. That's back in town. All right, let's uh, let's head back and make that last that last one here. 
and then I'm gonna have to go. We we got the uh, we'll get the we've got the Mew rune. We got all the things. Oh, we 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 can, we can make it at the at the bench. I think. Oh, we need a copper bar. We had a copper bar in our inventory. I mean, our bank. Yes, we had copper bars in our bank. There we go. We're set. We've got all the supplies we need. We just need to be standing near our handy dandy workbench. Bam! Ring made. There we go. All right. Uh, I made a ring of life tap. All right, everybody. I got to call it. The kids are coming back from, from school and stuff now, so I'm, I'm going to call it quits for the day. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a really good time. I ran over, uh, but I appreciate you joining me, and, I, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, anyway, please look for It Looks Below for news. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow uh, Graybeard Games on Facebook. Uh, I've got a Graybeard Games Twitter account. Uh, it's all kind of below. Twitch streams uh, will be announced. Uh, there's a It Lurks Below Steam page. There's an It Lurks Below subreddit. So uh, go to any of these things and we'll, uh, we'll you know, be pumping out new information often. Anyway, thank you so much. I am glad that uh, I am glad that I got to do so much today, and we were able to kind of recover from kind of a disastrous beginning. So, anyway, thank you so much, and uh, take care and have a good day. And uh, we'll be announcing new streams in the future.